here's what you can do if you cannot connect your Samsung Galaxy Watch 8 to your smartphone. So essentially what you can do is you can open a Bluetooth settings on your smartphone and then search for uh, your Galaxy Watch 8 with the code over here in available devices in case remember that sometimes you can also refresh the list of available devices you may also find it in saved devices especially if you already had a connection established before so once you try to pair the device you should be able to find this pairing code you want to make sure that it is exa exactly the same and choose to pair on both devices just confirm it and after that you might see check your phone to complete setup now in that case if you are stuck in this menu then what you need to do is simply you need to get the Samsung Galaxy wearable app and this is the app that I'm talking about it is required to have one on your smartphone if you want to make the connection to happen so let's actually open it and in this case uh, I can see already my watch over here on the uh, on the smartphone, but as you can see I am actually stuck on this screen and the reason for this is because I already had a connection established before I just uh, factory reset my Galaxy Watch 8 and now I am stuck nothing happens So if you are in a similar situation or in general nothing uh, Works then what you can do is you can tap on this button over here at the bottom of the screen and in my case I have my Galaxy Watch 8 uh, but you might be able to for example, press this plus button in order to search for your device. And in available devices, you might be able to find your Galaxy Watch 8. You may also find it over here, and you can try to select it in order to try to make the connection happen again. However, if that doesn't work, we can go back, and now we're gonna tap on these three dots on the right side instead, and we want to remove the device. So this is applicable only in case you had a connection before. You just need to remove the Galaxy Watch from the app completely. There we go. And now we can once again try to press connect in order to see if that works or if that doesn't work. Well, I haven't redirected, but essentially you want to go back over here and make sure that you are scanning for available devices. In my case, it still doesn't detect my available device, so I'm just going to cancel that. And now I have this start screen again. So I'm going to press start again and then we're going to see if that helps. So you can do that twice. And last but not least, if that still doesn't help, what you can also do is you can simply reboot your smartwatch. So we're going to press and hold both of these buttons. And you can actually power off or you can and then turn back on or you can keep holding these two buttons together until the watch reboots. So just keep holding and once the screen turns off, you should be able to wait a couple of seconds. I'm going to actually go back over here and then wait for the smartwatch to turn back on again. All right, so after the reboot, once again, I have the welcome screen, and this time I don't have to select the language and the region. So once again, we will try to pair, so I'm gonna just press start again, and now I have my watch on available devices actually, so I'm gonna select it, and we should be able to see the code again, so make sure that it is correct and confirm on both devices, and this time it should work just fine. And there we go, finally the connection happened, now we just need to proceed with the setup, so over here you need to agree to end user license agreement and the rest is optional. Press continue and finish setting up your smartwatch. And that's pretty much it, thanks for watching, leave a like and subscribe.